Sinulog is one of the most colorful and grandest festivals in the Philippines. The main festival is held each year on the third Sunday of January in Cebu City to honor the Santo Niño, or the Child Jesus. Essentially, it is a dance ritual commemorating the Cebuano and Filipino people's pagan past and their acceptance of Christianity. Sinulog comes from the Cebuano adverb sulog, which means like water current movement, adequately describing the forward-backward movement of the Sinulog dance. Traditionally, the dance consists of two steps forward and one step backward, done to the sound of the drums. The dance has since been modified and the ones that are actually seen in the streets during the Grand Parade are the modern versions. Candle vendors at the Basilica del Santo Niño continue to perform the traditional version of the dance when lighting a candle for the customer, usually accompanied by songs in the native dialect. Sinulog features some of the country's most colorful displays of pomp and pageantry. Participants garbed in bright colored costumes dance to the rhythm of drums and native gongs. The streets are lined with vendors and pedestrians all wanting to witness the street dancing. From the traditional street dancing among the locals, Sinulog has expanded into a contest featuring contingents from various parts of the country. The Sinulog contest is traditionally held in the Cebu City Sports Complex, where most of Cebu's provincial events are held. It also features enchanting floats, towering gigantes, and comical puppeteers. Smaller versions of the festival organized by Cebuanos are also held in various parts of the world, also to celebrate and honor the Santo Niño. Aside from the Sinulog Festival in Cebu City, we also came across Sinulog in Dipolog, Sambuanga City, Sinulog in Macau, China, Sinulog in Florida, and in Philadelphia, USA, and Sinulog in Australia, among others. Both religious and cultural, the Sinulog Festival of Cebu City is offered in honor of the Santo Niño as the Divine Child, God, Creator, and Protector of the World. The revelry and the spontaneous shouts of Pit Senor have become part of the Visayas Cebuano culture. The celebration traditionally lasts for nine days, culminating on the ninth day, usually a Sunday when the Sinulo Grand Parade unfolds. The day before the parade, a more solemn procession takes place along the streets from the city wharves towards Magallanes Street and ending up in the Basilica del Santo Niño, called the Fluvial Parade. This religious march is actually a water parade of boats held at dawn from the Oana Wharf in Mandawe City to Pier 1 in Cebu City, with the Santo Niño carried on a pump boat decked with hundreds of flowers and candles. This then leads to the Basilica for the reenactment of the first baptism, where Raja Humabon and Queen Juana were given the image of the Santo Niño as a gift from the Spanish conquerors. Tens of thousands of devotees joined the annual religious foot procession in honor of the Santo Niño, a 7-kilometer walk which starts and ends at the historic Basilica. People from all ages and walks of life flock into the streets bringing with them candles and rosaries as they respond to the Holy Rosary which is spoken in different languages. They join the solemn prayer walk behind the flower deck carroza bearing an image of the Santo Niño believed by devotees to be miraculous. The solemn procession route may vary every year to cater to other barangays who are not visited by the child Jesus the previous year and also depending on the estimated number of devotees participating in the event. This year, the procession route begins at the Basilica, passing through Osmeña Boulevard, Arlington Pond, Ramos Street, a Chavez Extension, D. Jacosalem Street, Colon Street, Mabini Street, Purgus Street, then back to the Basilica. At the Basilica, a Holy Mass is held, usually given by the Cardinal with the assistance of several bishops of Cebu. On Sunday, the majority of the Cebu population would flock to the Basilica to attend another special Sinulog Mass before heading out to the streets to watch the parade. 
Historians have noted that before the first Spaniards came to Cebu, the Sinulog was already danced by the natives in honor of their wooden idols called Anitos. Then, on April 7, 1521, the Portuguese navigator Ferdinand Magellan arrived and planted the cross on the shores of Cebu, claiming the territory in the name of the King of Spain. He then presented the image of the child Jesus, the Santo Niño, as baptismal gift to Hara Amihan, wife of Cebu's Ra Humabon. Hara Amihan was later named Queen Juana in honor of Juana, Carlos I's mother. Along with the rulers of the island, some 800 natives were also baptized to the Christian faith. This event is frequently used as basis for most Sinulog dances, which dramatize the coming of the Spaniards and the presentation of the Santo Niño to the Queen. A popular theme among Sinulog dances is Queen Juana holding the Santo Niño in her arms and using it to bless her people who are often afflicted by sickness caused by demons and evil spirits. The conquistador Miguel Lopez de Legazpi arrived in Cebu on April 28, 1565 and destroyed the village ruled by Raja Tupas. In one of the huts of the burning village, one of Legazpi's soldiers named Juan Camus found a wooden box containing the image of the Santo Niño lying among several native idols. The Augustinian friars that accompanied Legazpi in his exhibition proclaimed the statue miraculous and built a church on the site where it was found. The church was called San Agustin Church but was later renamed the Basilica del Santo Niño. Before 1980, Sinulog was purely a religious ritual performed within the confines of the basilica, usually by aging women who hold a candle in each upstretched hand and do alternating forward and backward dance steps with the feet. To enhance the dancing, Either a boy or an old man stands nearby with a snare drum strapped around his waist, letting the drumsticks produce that distinctive rhythm now familiar to most Cebuanos, the Sinulog beat. While performing the Sinulog, the dancers mumbles prayers of petition, punctuated by shouts of Pit Senor every now and then. Sometimes the dancer holds a candle with one hand and a handkerchief in the other. Still at other times, she holds with both hands a copy of the image of the Santo Niño, keeping it elevated as she performs the dance, to endow it with the blessings of the child Jesus. The dance is performed in front of the altar where the Santo Niño image stands inside the glass caging. The Sinulog dancer does not always dance inside the church. At times, she dances just outside the front door, but still facing the altar. Since 1521, devotion to the Santo Niño has grown and has taken root in Filipino popular piety, particularly in the Visayas. Pilgrims from different parts of Cebu and the rest of the Philippines make their annual journey to the Basilica to take part in the procession and fiesta. Starting in 1980, the Cebu city government organized the Sinulog Mardi Gras and eventually gave incentives to dance groups. David S. Odilao Jr., then Regional Director of the Ministry of Sports and Youth Development or the MYSD, organized the first ever Sinulog Parade in 1980. Under the direction of Cebu City Mayor Florentino S. Solon, with the help of several influential Cebuanos, Odilao turned over the Sinulog project to the Cebu City Historical Committee under Kagawad Jesus B. Garcia Jr. It was the task of the committee to conceptualize the Sinulog Festival and make it into a yearly event from then on. The Cebu City Historical Committee, which was responsible for the conceptualization of the Sinulog as a provincial event, decided to adopt a logo for the Sinulog to identify it as an institutionalized annual event. They turned to the coat of arms of the Santo Niño, which consisted of a two-headed hawk that was the mark of the ruling house of Habsburg in Europe. The emblem represented the twin purpose of the Habsburg dynasty as champion of Catholicism and defender of the faith. At the same time when Spain sent expeditions to the Philippines, they were under the Habsburg dynasty. The Sinulog Committee then incorporated the two-headed eagle to a native warrior shield. The native shield is supposed to symbolize the country's resistance to colonization while the Santo Niño coat of arms represented the country's acceptance of Christianity. 
From then on, Sinulog has become bigger and better. Viva Santo Nino! Pit Senor! Sa ulo, sisisi mo lang. 